I am Anil Kumar. Here is a trigonometric equation where we will use compound angle formulas to solve. The equation here is solve trigonometric equation sine theta equals to cos 3 theta where theta is between 0 to 2 pi. So we have to find the value of theta where sine theta is cos of 3 theta. Now in such questions what we can do is we can write theta as 2 theta minus 1 and 3 theta as 2 theta plus 2, right? So that will help us to simplify and get the solution. So we can do this as sine 2 theta minus theta which is theta and cos theta could be written as cos of 2 theta plus theta, correct? Sine 2 theta minus theta, let's bring them all together on one side. So I could write this as sine 2 theta minus theta minus of cos 2 theta plus theta. So now we'll expand them using the compound angle formula. Uh, so sine a minus b is sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. So this could be written as sine a cos b minus cos of 2 theta cos theta. Great. Uh, I mean, sorry, sine. Right. And on the right side, I mean, we have to minus, let me put brackets. So cos theta plus theta gives us cos of 2 theta cos theta minus sine of 2 theta sine theta, correct? So in this case, we have used the formula sine A minus B equals to sine A cos B minus cos A sine B, right? And cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sin A sin B, right? So let's look into common terms. With sin 2 theta, I can take cos theta common. And here we have minus sine theta. So minus and minus becomes plus, right? So we get um, we get plus sine theta. And with minus cos the 2 theta, I can take sine theta common. And with cos 2 theta, this is minus, and we have taken minus outside, so that becomes plus cos theta. And now cos theta plus sine theta is common, and that should be, well, when we brought it this side, I should have written equal to 0. So this is equal to 0. So now we have cos theta plus sine theta factor is common, and we get sine 2 theta minus cos 2 theta equals to 0. So in factored form, we have a relation. We can equate this to 0 and find the answer. So one of the solutions could be cos theta plus sine theta equals to 0. The other could be sine 2 theta minus cos 2 theta equals to 0. Right. So we could solve for these and get our solutions. So from here, if I take it to the other side, um, well, uh, we get, we can divide and do whatever. So we can, we can write this as, uh, let's say, sine theta equals to minus cos theta, or dividing by cos theta now, Let's at this stage we divide by cos theta, both sides. Then what we get is tan theta equals to minus 1, correct? Here we could write this as 
sine 2 theta equals to cos 2 theta and dividing by cos 2 theta we get tan 2 theta equals to plus 1. So those are the answers for theta. Let's figure out what theta is when it is between 0 to 2 pi. So if theta is between 0 to 2 pi, tan is negative for two values. It is negative when we are in coordinate 2 or in coordinate 4. Correct? So the value of theta will be acute angle being it is 1 for 45, correct? Which is pi by 4. So this angle is 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4. And this is 1 less than, so this is 4, 4, 8, right? So 1 less than 8, 7 pi by 4. So these are the two answers for theta. Now for 2 theta, what do we get? Well, what we know here is that theta is between 0 to 2 pi. So 2 theta should be between 0 to 4 pi, correct? So in this particular case, we are looking for positive values. That means either we are in coordinate 1 or in 4, the acute angle being pi by 4, correct? So, so two circles. So we get 2 theta equals to pi by 4, that is 1. Then we go one full circle, so this is 4 pi by 4, this is 5 pi by 4. And then this is 8 pi by 4, which is 2 pi, that becomes 9 pi by 4. Correct? So this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So add, add pi to each, correct, to get your answer because the time period for theta actually is pi, right? So when you add pi to each, so they'll go up by 4. So that could be easily done. Now theta is equals to half of these values. So it is pi by 8, 5 pi by 8, 9 pi by 8, and 13 pi by 8. Do you see that? So that is how this question should be solved. And so we have all these answers. So our answer is, we get all these, which is pi by 8, 5 pi by 8, 9 pi by 8, 13 pi by 8, and these two. So we have 3 pi by 4 and 7 pi by 4. So that is how this question should be solved. So I hope you find it interesting feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe that'd be great thank you and all the best